Hello guys, um, I'm showing y'all how to make a racing bar graph if you don't know. Um, Tavares, Nadav, um, Jackson, blah blah I sent y'all the link. Yeah. Natalie, Lily, um, Colin, Wes, um, those are my friends if you're random. But here you go, so you go to this, I just made it A versus B versus C. First off, you have to delete all these columns, basically, just by selecting column, then pressing shift, and then, like, right arrow key, and it takes a long time. Don't make your, don't, please don't make your thing freeze, or that will make it much, much harder. Sorry, you can't hear my mom's on a call. Then what you gotta do, I'm gonna have to move this here. You can have a category. I usually don't, because my category would usually be in the YouTube title. You put image on B and um, your values are C to bloody blah, blah, blah and your label is A. So let's make their channel name. I don't care that I'm spelling this wrong. A, B, and C. You don't have to have an image, but it makes it a lot better. So I'm just going to link random images to A, B, and C real quick. I'll be right back. Now that I've done that, I have images i'm gonna move my face cam again um and it's okay as you can see these two links are the same usually it's all three i'm doing video real quick don't tell me um wait wait okay um sorry that will well you see these images the links to these are the same they're different images see if i put in data here just put in all zeros and look at the bottom right Three different images, a Mario thing, emojis, and something that's this tough. Now you gotta put in what years or quarters of years or months you gotta do. And remember, always start it out with zero. Otherwise, if you start out on your first month or something, 2016 January, it will, and you start out with 5,100 for A, let's say, it will start with 5,100. It won't race up to 5,100, so make sure to not do that. So then you got to label your column. So let's say they started in 20, 2014 and 2014 quarter one. 20, well, we'll start in 2013. I don't know why I'm contemplating over this. Um, it's hard to gather data for channels and stuff, but, uh, this is what I'm do. There is no really quick way to do this, except that Flourish really does help. Yeah, first you gotta, um, what the heck? I just messed up something, but you gotta go to Flourish. It's just app.flourish.studio, and yeah, that, that's basically that. I'll see you when I've gathered the data. Sorry, my mom's on another call, but once you've gathered all that oopsie, data, make sure, since this is all that you're going to do for now, yeah. don't make it go to ZZ. Make it go to AE, because that is the last of the data you want to see. Otherwise, it will just keep your data, yeah. and your bar graph will go on for way too long. Yeah, I yelled those because my mom was yelling, so uh, yeah, um, exposed. So yeah, another quick tip is put a lot of stuff in capital letters. It looks a lot more appealing to viewers because these, you might be able to see, go down there. I mean, the months, like 2313Q1 goes down there with everybody having zero. Now enter in your data as I'm doing. I will just enter in random numbers and make sure not to do stuff that they're adding in per month. Like, don't put in like plus 12,000, plus 9,000, because then it'll go from 12,000 down to 9,000. So yeah, don't do that. Remember, always start with zero. It's okay if a channel or whatever you're doing doesn't start at the first line. You can just put zero. Like, I'll make this channel C have zero for the start, like, here or something. You know what I mean? the heck oopsie oh yeah by the way i'm running out of time but you can make them lose subscribers as well as of course seen on youtube now you can watch your bar graph go and oh yeah go up here to where this is and you can see a full preview and you can record it please don't mind my other tabs but how about let's see this by the way if you want to change it at time go to